Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a mathematician, and today I'm going to tell you the steps to making a common denominator. So if you wanted to add two fractions, like two-fourths and one-tenth, we can't do it until we have a common denominator. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take our two denominators, and we're going to list their multiples until we see something in common. So the multiples of four, and actually it's easier to start with the bigger number because then you'll see what they have in common first. So I'm going to start with 10, and I'm going to go 20, 30, 40, and I'll stop there, and then if we need to go further, we will. So now I'm going to go to 4, and I start with 4, 8, 12. They have nothing in common yet, so I have to keep going. Then I have 16, 20, and I stop because I notice that there's a 20 in my multiples of 4, and there's also a 20 in my multiples of 10. So as soon as you see a number that they have in common, that's your least common denominator, and that's what you want to change the denominator of these fractions to. So now if you want to finish this and go ahead and add them, that means I want to change both of these fractions to have a denominator of 20. So to get from 4 to 20, I multiply by 5, so I do 2 times 5 to get 10. To get from 10 to 20, I multiply by 2, so I do 1 times 2 is 2, and now that they have the same denominator, I can go ahead and add 10 plus 2 is 12 and keep my denominator of 20. So my name is Maria, and I just showed you how to find the least common denominator.